And it is KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM, 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. That means it is once again time for Open Mic Radio. We're going to get it rolling with one from our featured guest today. This is Con Cannon. So much is this up here. It's not something. Right on. All right. Open Mic Radio, KOPN, Columbia, 89.5 FM. That was uh, Con Cannon. Welcome to the program. Saturday, September 17th. Glad you're with us. We do this every Saturday afternoon from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Live music interviews with some of Missouri's finest musicians and bands. My name is Mike Hagan. And uh, yes, we do. We feature awesome local and regional music and the artists who create it. Normally, my buddy, Kyan Kurt, is sitting in the studio with me. He's away this weekend. Uh, enjoying the company of his young daughter so hope they have a great time out there in st louis uh you all as well another lovely summer weekend i can't can't say it enough the last few weeks i feel like i'm repeating myself but the weather's been awesome for uh august and uh <clears throat> and september uh, so hope you're enjoying it out there uh, in any case there's always a lot to do in columbia on the weekends and i hope you find a way to enjoy some of it and uh yeah busy night downtown busy night this afternoon mizzou's playing right now or are they done? I guess they're done. They played at 11. I'm sure they won. Huh? Yeah. All right. I'm getting confirmation. Mizzou with a win this afternoon. That keeps everyone in a good mood around these parts. So uh, it's good for the Tigers. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I am looking forward to the show this afternoon. We have a young rock and roll band with us today. They are called Con Cannon. We're going to spend some time with those guys, hear some of their music, talk a little bit about the band, learn a little bit about these young gentlemen. And I'm also expecting a visit from my old buddy, Bartholomew Bean. If you're not familiar with Bean, he's an old troubadour sort, been around in these parts for many, many moons. And uh, maybe we'll get a song or two out of Bart. Ina Cook, fantastic uh, singer, musician from the 
African island nation of Madagascar. Ina's going to be joining us sometime this afternoon. She's got a show this evening as well. In fact, <clears throat> lots of good music around town this evening. We'll talk about that around 5 o'clock, probably do a little rundown of what's happening around town. If you uh, are familiar with uh, the show, we do that every week right around 5 o'clock. And if you've got something that uh, you might want to share with us or with the listeners, maybe you've got a show that's coming up or something that... Uh, might be on your radar that we may not know about feel free to give me a call anytime during the show okay the phones will be open 573-443-8255 573-443-7380 either one of those numbers will get you right in here to the studio all right um you never know who else might stop in so if you're a friend of the show feel free okay swing on by we're at the brand new digs for kopn columbia 401 bernadette drive love the new studio out here love what's happening here we got a great new general manager making some uh, some awesome uh, impact and uh, a lot of new energy here at uh, at KOPN along with the new location. So uh, appreciate you all supporting us as well. We had a pledge drive over the last week and a half or so. And uh, all of those of you who uh, help support KOPN with your greenbacks and help support this program as well, Open Mic Radio. We're always looking for sponsors and for uh, for underwriters for, for this program. So if you're interested in that, Give us a call here at the at the station sometime during the week. The business hours, of course, nine to five, and uh, give them a call in the in the office. Though that's probably not something we'll do this afternoon, but uh, certainly encourage more uh, uh, sponsorship and uh, underwriting for KOPN and for Open Mic Radio. Okay, all right. A couple more quick things. Big thank you to TK. She's grooving on the one mic since two p.m. Before that, Morgan with a motherland jam. Great, great music from all about the continent of Africa. I think we heard maybe 13 different African nations represented today on motherland jam. Anyway, great stuff from Morgan. We've got the stick here from four o'clock until six o'clock and then hang around because Rashumba and a reggae party is coming at you from eight o'clock until 10 o'clock. Once again, the greatest in uh, roots rock reggae music right here in mid Missouri, Rashumba. Uh, bringing it to you, okay? At 8 o'clock, got Chris taking the helm. Blues on Broadway, even though we're not on Broadway anymore. But uh, Blues on Broadway with uh, the wonderful Chris Pourier. Uh, great mix of uh, awesome blues music, and you can catch that from 8 o'clock until 11. We'll see what's happening in uh, in Jeff City. I think we've got a blues schedule that, uh, that Chris dropped by as well. So, okay, we are here, round the clock, okay? Keep it dialed in, KOPN 89.5 FM. We are streaming on the web at kopn.org. Last week, uh, Big Cat Matt with Rockabilly Corner. Awesome stuff. He does it once a month. Uh, we give it up uh, the second Saturday of every month, and Big Cat Matt comes in here and does his Rockabilly show, which is fantastic. The guy's like a savant when it comes to Rockabilly and old-time country music. And if you like that type of stuff, you can't, uh, you can't beat Big Cat Matt in a Rockabilly corner. That was last week. It was awesome. The week before that, we had a great... Uh, fun show. Mr. Sam Diagostino was with us live uh, throughout the program. Dave Angle stopped by. One of the Daves, of course, uh, played a little bit of Delta Blues music for us before a show down at Cooper's Landing, but uh, had a really fun time with uh, both Sam Diagostino and Dave Angle. Appreciate those guys coming down. And uh, yeah, uh, we had a uh, great time. Once again, we are joined by the awesome John Lamb. He'll be shooting a little bit of video of our uh, guests this afternoon and if you'd actually like to see some of the amazing performances that have actually happened right here in this studio hop on the internet and go over to mikehagan.com that's m-i-k-e-h-a-g-a-n mikehagan.com and click on the little button that says open mic radio actually it's a big button and you can see uh well, you can see video that's been shot here in the studio over the last couple of months. And, of course, you can subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any of these programs. And you can also download any of the, uh, any of the previous programs that we've done. And we've had a bunch of them for, uh, for many years and lots of, lots of really, really great music and awesome artists that have come through, through these studios. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> enough of that. Uh, KOPN.org, MikeHagan.com. All right. For today's show, we are joined by local rock and rollers, Con Cannon, a uh, group of young men uh, from Moberly, I believe that it is. And uh, I think we might as well just uh, find out and say hello. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Hi. How you doing, Brody? Good. All right. We've got Brody, we've got Kai, and we've got Jake. That's correct, I think, right? Yep. yep. All right, let's start with Kai here in the corner because I think he's the oldest of the of the three. Yeah. Kai, what uh, what uh, 
a little bit about yourself. Are you uh, a, a Missouri native? Are you from, been born and raised here? Yeah, I've been living in Mobile for a while. I've been playing drums for almost six years, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have musical background? Uh, your family, um, uh, mom and dad musicians? Or, or how how'd you decide to become a musician at such a young age? Uh, I just really caught on to it because I just liked music at a young age because I my parents gave me a lot of good music to listen to aha uh -huh. so if your parents weren't necessarily musicians they were listening to music that you were that you were enjoying huh yeah all right give me an idea for uh, types of influences stuff that you were hearing that you that you liked uh like Genesis huh. maybe <laughs> no I love it man Genesis yeah. maybe kiss over there ACDC Metallica that's right. some influences. All right, all right. Some some good old uh, classic rock and roll for the most part. All right, um, let's scoot on over to Brody. Uh, let's see. Now you guys are not brothers. Originally, I thought that you were brothers, but uh, I'm, you're, you're you're friends, obviously, but not actual family. No, correct. We're not family. Okay. <laughs> well, you're in a band together, so you might as well be family. So, uh, Brody. Um, and by the way, so Kai's on the drums. Um, are are you? Uh, let's go back to Kai just for a second and talk about your your drum uh, skills are you actively like do you take lessons or do you uh, how often do you practice do you have certain drummers that you like to listen to and that you're trying to uh, emulate that type of thing yeah I take lessons from a guy named Derek Enyard and he gives Brody guitar lessons too all right is that, that that's up in Moberly yep all right okay all right so Brody uh, guitar player and doing the vocals, at least uh, some of the vocals. Do you guys do uh, any any harmonies, or do you normally do most of the singing? Uh, Jake backup sings on some stuff. So okay, all right, um, uh, Brody, you your background. You're another Missouri guy. Mm -hmm. Born and raised here. Yep. Moberly. Yep. Okay. Uh, you're playing the guitar right now. Do you play other instruments? Um. Well, this is like the one that I've took lessons from. But like outside of band, I self teach myself some other instruments like piano and ukulele and stuff like that uh-huh all right very good what uh how long have you been playing the guitar uh, around four years all right do you have um uh music in your family uh yeah my mom's a music teacher wow all right so you got a little bit of a you got a little of a bit, bit of a leg up on other people because your mom's a musician does she what 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 age of students does she teach uh k through second grade all right right on what type of what type of instruments does she play is she a piano player yeah most music teachers can play the piano among other things but they're usually piano players so. mm. all right very cool um and uh the same thing with you you just kind of heard stuff you liked and decided you wanted to pick up an instrument and, and, and learn how to play it yeah yeah all right give me um some of your favorite artists bands people that have sort of influenced the, the style that you like uh, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh my God, Billy Corgan, total genius. Uh, Alice in Chains, uh -huh. Stone Temple Pilots, stuff like that. Right. Okay. You a Soundgarden fan? Yeah. Yeah. I, Kim Thale, the guy that played guitar for you know Cornell was a pretty good guitar player actually. Uh, people really don't talk about him as a guitarist, uh, as a, you know more of a vocalist, and he was an outstanding vocalist obviously, but he was a pretty good guitar player too. But Kim Thale. The guy who played most of the solos on uh, on that Soundgarden stuff was was a stud too. Uh, what about Pearl Jam? You you named everybody else. Yeah, Pearl Jam's good too. <laughs> All right, I know you've. Uh, I've actually seen uh, you guys cover a couple Nirvana tunes. Mm -hmm. You kind of look like Kurt when he was a young man. Just uh, just change your just. You can you can keep the music, just not the attitude. Actually, you sort you sort of need the attitude too, though. You know what I mean? It's weird. Rock and roll is a weird thing. Um, and there's a lot of heartache uh, in music in general, in art in general. I think, I don't know who said it, but, but it's been said many times uh, to many different, uh, uh, in many different ways, but uh, a tough life makes for a good song. <laughs> and uh, sometimes uh, difficulty and suffering and that kind of stuff really comes, comes forward in the artistic process. So... Um, uh, I, I, I have to I have to give him that. Certainly, Kurt Co Cobain was a was a tortured soul, uh, but but he really uh, 
in the short time that he was around, really made some awesome music and uh, and poured a lot of that stuff into into those songs. So incredible. Yeah. yeah, I remember when Nirvana first came out. You guys were still in somebody's memory bank somewhere, uh, but um, that was a the Nevermind album. John, remember when Nevermind came out? That was a and Bobby. You might remember too. But anyway, that was a that was a, a game changer. It was that 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 sort of lit the lit the fire for for the grunge scene and uh, and all and many of the bands that you just you just mentioned. You know, of, of many of which I'm a fan of. I love I love that that phase of of, uh, of music because it was you know what the grunge scene was and 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 those bands and many of them are still around today. They they were a real fish or they were really appreciative of that original rock and roll music the stuff from the late 60s and the 70s and they really did a great job of sort of bringing it back with a reinterpretation of it so anyway cool um uh so you're currently taking lessons uh playing guitar you practice how often do you play i'm sure you play pretty often yeah like every day every day at least some for for a few minutes at least right two hours from really sometimes Wow, fantastic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned some of the bands. and Any particular guitarists that you really dig? Um, well, outside of that, Black Sabbath, Tony Iommi. Tony Iommi, he was, was he was awesome. Yeah, Geezer Butler was a hell of a bass player, too, the guy who played for uh, bass for Black Sabbath. I forget the drum. Uh, who's the drummer? Phil Ward. Phil Ward. Bill Ward. Phil Ward's a drummer, too, isn't he? I don't know. Anyway, Bill Ward. All right, thanks, John, for the... For the tip on the side here. All right, we've got uh, Con Cannon in the studio with us this afternoon. Jake, we'll get with you in just a second here, uh, but I want to remind everyone that they're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. All right, uh, we're going to slip on over to our bass player here. This is Mr. Jacob. How you doing there, young fella? Good. Yeah? All right, you're a Moberly critter as well? Yeah. So how long have you, go, have you guys known each other? Um... Since we, so Bob, Bobby coached a baseball team, uh-huh. and us three played together on it. Okay, yeah. and that's awesome. Brody and Kai had to play together for a project on um, from yeah, Derek. It, yeah, it was Derek's idea because he just wanted to. Well, he didn't know the connection. I don't think until we actually got there. But <clears throat> you, you guys were going to do what together? Play a song. We were going to play, oh, play a song uh, together. Yeah. Yeah, we played Plush, Plush. which huh. we're playing tonight. Stone Temple. Yeah. Um, all right, so when was that, though? Like, how long ago? Uh, how long has the band been together? It's been almost... Well, it's, it's been, been a year. So it's been about a year. Yeah. Okay. That was about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Time flies, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you go to school together? Uh, they do. Yeah, I don't. me and Jake do, but... All right, Kai's on his own, huh? Did you drop out already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and and uh, uh, Bobby is one of your fathers. Is that correct? Mine. Okay. So so Bobby's Brody's dad. All right. And 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 the manager of the band too. It seems. And 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 your biggest fan, I must say. And I appreciate the enthusiasm because uh, you guys don't know uh, what a friend you got in your dad because. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, without being able to drive and a lot of things like that, you need you need help putting this stuff together. So mm-hmm. it takes a lot of time uh, uh, f- for your parents too. So so give them a give, well, I'll, I'll give them a shout out. So all right, okay. So I love the fact that you're playing music. I love the fact that you're doing it as youngsters. I hope you keep it together. Um, I had a band. In fact, I'm wearing my Drona T-shirt. Uh, there's a local band of um, siblings, as a matter of fact, uh, two brothers and a sister that are Hickman High School students here in Columbia. And a super talented uh, three-piece band. And they were down here uh, with us in the studio, what, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And we got some great songs and some great video that John shot. And uh, and it's just super encouraging to see uh, uh, more young people just coming up into the music scene because it's a, it's a great place to do it, actually. Mid-Missouri, although it may seem unlikely, it's a great place for... Uh, for, for, for music in general and for young musicians to kind of get get into the scene. So, all right. Um, so, Jake, uh, you're playing the bass. Uh, how long have you been been a musician? Um, ever since Brody asked me to. <laughs> yeah, you do everything he asks you. Well, no. <laughs> you better say you better say no. All right. Uh, but you weren't you weren't a player though before Brody. What did you say? Hey, I, I, we need a bass player. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's exactly what, what he said. Yeah, and so you just uh, decided, okay, I can I can figure that out, huh? Because because before I really wanted to play guitar, and I thought, well, it's still a guitar, so you bet it is. And there are plenty of guitarists that know how to play the bass, and there are plenty of bass players that can play guitar. And uh, in fact, the tuning's the same for the most part, right? You just got mm-hmm. a couple fewer strings, and uh, and a much lower. Uh, uh, level of uh, or or Pitch. collection of, uh, of 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 notes exactly yeah um and are you uh are you being professionally trained as well or are you learning on your own are you taking lessons now or are you just uh well um <laughs> so there's no right or wrong answer just so curious. right now uh-huh technically brody has taught me everything that i know but i've had one single month of lessons from derek and Derek is the gentleman who's teaching all three of you. Yes. Wow, that's kind of handy. Actually, you got, you, you're definitely going to have have the same style. Of, and he'll know he'll know all three of his all three of you. So. Yeah. All right. What uh, what's his what's his background? Is he he must be a multi instrumentalist, pretty talented guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a drummer. He's a drummer, bassist, guitarist, <coughs> pianist, literally everything. <laughs> Does he have a studio too there or something? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Used to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Um, I got lots of more questions for you, but I think we should play another song. You guys want to yeah. do another one for us? Okay. Sounds good. All right, we are going to do another one here. We oh, you know, before we do that, where did the name where, where did the name of the band come from? Um, what, what, what's Con Cannon about? It was literally just a street. A street name in Moberly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It's good as anything, right? Okay, we've got Con Cannon in the studio. It's also a street in Moberly. If you're lost, uh, we can get you home from there. And um, I. Backup vocals on this song. Sure. Okay. Don't worry. Just so uh, I'll take care of your mic once once we get it going here. Okay. Um, once again, it's open mic radio, KOPN Columbia, eighty nine point five FM. We're about twenty one minutes after the hour of four o'clock on a lovely Saturday afternoon, right down here in Columbia, Missouri. Hope you're having a great day after there, or a great afternoon out there, and uh, and you get out and see some live music tonight. As a matter of fact, our our guests this afternoon, Con Cannon, have a show at the dive bar this evening. I think what 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 time are you guys playing this this evening? Eight, Eight o'clock. So, uh, and the dive bar is uh, open all afternoon, happy hour, etc. So you don't have to worry about doors. Just get down there. Uh, sometime before 8 and you can catch Con Cannon. And I think you're playing a pretty long set, right? Yep, 8 to 11. So. All right, so we've got three hours of rock and roll tonight down at the dive bar. There's a lot of other things happening around town. We'll kind of give you a little wrap-up of that in a little bit here. But uh, right now, let's get another song from our guests. You listen to it here. It's Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. And, uh, yeah, once again, this is Con Cannon. <laughs>
Once again, that's Con Cannon. We've got them in the studio this afternoon. Great stuff from these uh, young gentlemen. Uh, what is is that an original song? Yeah. What's that? Okay. T- oh, the first one was as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the first one then. And uh, what was the name of the, of the song that we opened up with? Taken. And is that a uh, uh, a song that has been written recently? Uh, probably around like two or three months ago. Okay. Um, since we're talking about writing songs, uh, okay, um, the one that you just played, though, was called? Burst. Burst. My pipes are burst? Is that Have what? Have burst. My pipes have burst. All right. Well, that's no good, uh, it, depending on the situation, I guess. All right. <coughs> All right, yes, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We've got Con Cannon in the studio. I'm expecting Bart Bean to stop by at some point, and uh, hopefully Miss Ina Cook, who's got a, pro, or, uh, a show this evening as well. Uh, but right now, um, we've got Brody and uh, Jake and Kai from Con Cannon. Uh, let's talk about songwriting a little bit. Uh, who, how, how, let's talk about the process of songwriting. How do you, do, how do you guys do it? Um, well, I usually just come up with, with a riff, and then usually the chorus just comes to me, and I show it to them. I usually give Jake a part, and he can add to it. And then I usually have an idea of how I want the drums in my head, but I'm, since I'm not a drummer, I kind of let Kai do his thing too, but I also I give some advice. I kind of just play off what he's trying to tell me. Yeah. And then you can kind of comment and say, hey, what if you did this there, or what if you did that, something like Kind of, kind of, kind of work it out together. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you're the primary songwriter, then I would say Brody, and then you sort of bring a song to the group, uh, and and then the three of you work out the song as a as a band. Huh? Yep. All right. Um, Kai, any any interest in 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 writing, or are you going to let Brody do all the writing uh, uh, from here on out? I'm just going to let him do his thing. <laughs> really? Okay. All right. Well, but in a way, I guess once you come with a song, then you can kind of build the drum part. I'm, I'm sure that, that there's a lot of creativity there. Yeah. Um, Jake, what about you? Interested in, in, in writing your own material or, or collaborating, writing songs with, with Brody together? Well, <clears throat> on our first, um, our first ever song, um, it was about a scenario that happened in my life. So, And I kind of helped write, but... <laughs> That's that's the only thing that I do really. He just gives me bass notes and I just add on to what like I add on what I think sounds good, and you know Brody approves and like he thinks it sounds good too. So all right, all right. You want to tell us a story about the about that song? Oh, no. uh, <laughs> so it was school dance night. All right. And I had the fattest crush on this girl. <laughs> all right. And what was her name? Can you say it over the radio? Uh, Abby. Abby. All right. Um, but, you know, I tried to talk to her, and all she would do is run from me because <laughs> she was nervous. And um, I've seen it many times, trust me. She, she kept avoiding me, so we called it Avoid Me. <laughs> it's, I mean... It's one of our lesser-known originals. Yeah, yeah. I kind of put the song away. Yeah. All right, I think you should pull it out tonight at the dive bar is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's time to revive Avoid Me. We threw it in the dungeon. All right. Well, you never know. In fact, um, that's a true story. A lot of bands will have... In fact, John's a musician here, plays for a band called Lemon Settlement, and uh, played last night, as a matter of fact, with um, with Sam down at the dive bar. How was it? Oh, it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah. So so John was actually at the, at the place where you guys are playing tonight, there last night, with the guy who played on this program 
two weeks ago. Ha, huh, small world. So, all right, what, what was it? What was the crowd like at Dive Bar last night? It was uh, pretty good. Uh, I don't know, 30, 40 people. Um, and it was just a, a happy hour set, so we only played about an hour or so. All right. Uh, but it was a good yeah. time. Perfect setup out there, right? Yeah. Have you yeah. guys played there before? Yeah. 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 We oh, played okay. the happy hour set last yeah. time, so. Nice. Well, all right. So we've got great music tonight uh, down at the dive bar. Con Cannon will be jamming from 8 to 11. If you had a chance to see Sam and, uh, and John down there last night, give us a call. Let us know uh, how it was. 573-443-8255. Loved having Sam down here the other, the other uh, mm-hmm. couple weeks ago. All right. Um, yeah, Con Cannon in the studio with us this afternoon. They are playing tonight at the dive bar. Hey, if, if people want to get a hold of you or find you online or uh, book you for a show, is there contact information? How how might they do that? Um, it's on Facebook, and it's just a direct link to his And there's emails, stuff. too. Yeah. Con I, Cannon I on email. Facebook. Facebook, YouTube. All right, so Con Cannon on Facebook is probably the best probably the best way i think right yeah Yeah. okay all right um and uh maybe what i'll do before the end of the show bobby if you write down your email address for me again i'll give that out okay all right um we've got about 4 30 or so on uh saturday afternoon all right it's open mic radio kopn columbia got the guys from con cannon without the what time you got to load in at uh at dive bar uh Uh, well maybe yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, as soon as we're done. Scoot out, out out here and get get on over there, right? Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, once again, they're uh, at Dive Bar tonight, 8 to 11, Con Cannon, all right? Okay. Um, what about um, recording? Have you considered uh, recording any of your material yet? If you, if, if you have or if you are going to, have you thought about where you might do that or who, who you we're, might uh, work with? We're just trying to get as many originals as we can like done <clears throat> and obviously so they sound good um so we can hopefully get a studio session from we might just yeah. try it out next year just to see yeah. how it is record something mm-hmm. record like a single <laughs> yeah there you, you know there's plenty i don't know it mobily probably has a some sound engineering studio there there's plenty of fantastic ones here in columbia and uh, if you ever need uh to chat about that feel free to get with me off the air i'd love to i'd love to sort of point you to to someone in particular actually but uh anyway okay so uh yeah great idea come up with uh you know a bunch bunch of songs get them down yeah right get them down where you got them real tight and then and then when you're ready go record them i think some people get ahead of themselves and uh and want to record stuff straight away and it's like oh you probably need to take a little bit more time get things a little bit more polished and then uh and then go do it now of course i i always i always contradict myself because i also love just raw stuff that's just wild and and just kind of w- what it is so uh anyway great uh, great opportunity do you, you know with technology today do you guys ever, ever just have a recorder on the computer or ipad or something laying around when you're when you're when you're practicing do you record any of that stuff yeah yeah and then listen back to it for uh, just for your own yeah mm-hmm. all that, the time bobby <clears throat> bobby takes videos of us and on a phone <laughs> yeah on a phone <laughs> all right well. um, but we post some on our youtube and some we just keep because we don't think it's good enough or we sure, just clip sure. it to facebook so right well you got to get got to get your name out there right that's uh, that's that's the name of the game these days There's, uh, use use all this technology to Try to help drive the band. So, okay, um, upcoming shows other than uh, Dive Bar. We got Dive Bar tonight, eight to eleven. Anything else on the schedule? Next week we got, I think it's Pioneer Days. Yeah, Pioneer Days in Cairo. In Cairo. Right on. At- Cairo, Illinois. No, Missouri. Missouri. Cairo, Missouri. Where's that? Uh, it's, well, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. And then um, after that, in October <clears throat> we have the Pumpkin Festival in Hartsburg. Yeah, yes. that's a blast. Have you have you guys been before? I no. mean, not as a musician, but have you ever just been there? No. Oh, no, it's I don't it's think cool. So. Yeah. That's a, that's turned into a, like a wild event. It used to be really kind of chill and kind of low key. Now it's like cars lined up all the way to Route 63, and it's I've like heard a, it's, it's, I've heard it's really packed. It's packed, and that'll be a great place to play music. You guys will have a, you'll have a, you'll have a great crowd there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to tell you where else you're playing because your your dad sort of tipped me off. The Tipsy Cow in oh. California, Missouri. That's the 21st of October, and then you've got Raspberry's Barbecue yeah. in Macon. So great, a bunch of shows coming up. Love to see that you're staying busy. So keep at that and uh, make friends when you go to these places. All right, I'm sure people are real 
uh, happy to see you. It's always cool to see a young group of musicians come in. So, yeah. um, All right. So, um, I don't know. Let's do another song. Okay. All right? Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll tell people they're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. Check out the podcast. Just go to the website and you can subscribe to the podcast, and then you won't miss any of these programs, and you can catch all this great live music uh, with all these awesome Missouri artists and uh, it'll just magically show up in your in your play box okay all right uh, we've got Con Cannon with us this afternoon in the studio Brody what are you going to do this time uh, this is loath excuse me loathsome it's hard to say <laughs> all right once again Con Cannon open mic radio KOPN Columbia a song called loathsome Nice one. Nice again. All right. Once again, that is uh, Con Cannon. What's the name of that one? Uh, loathsome. Loath- oh, you told me that at the beginning of the song. Yeah. yeah. Loath- not lonesome. Loathsome. It's like it's like you're saying oath, oath. but loath- loathsome. Loathsome. It means like a person who causes like hatred or disgust. <clears throat> yeah. Loathsome. You got to say it like that. Loathsome. Not lonesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, new stuff, I guess. And... Uh, Original material from Con Cannon. Uh, when did when when did you write that one? How long? How far along is that song? That wasn't um, too long ago. Maybe like a month. It'll be interesting to see what you guys do with the same songs. I think John can appreciate that as bands mature and stay together. Sometimes you'll take songs that you used to play one way and change them down the road. So we'll see how you're playing these songs a couple of years from now. I bet you they're still part of your repertoire, but maybe you'll maybe you'll have. Uh, have changed them up a little bit. We'll have to see. But anyway, okay, um, let's see. What else do we got to talk about here? Um, talked a little bit about recording. I'd like to see you guys do some recording. Yeah, we'll get get get, get a few songs under your belt and then make, them, make, them, make a little EP or something like that. that. That would be awesome. All right, the mid-Missouri music scene. You guys have been out now playing around with other bands and stuff for about a year now, at least six months. Um, how are you, what are your experiences like when you go to a venue to play? Are people friendly with you? Are they nice? Are they accepting? Are they encouraging? Are they rude? Uh, what, what's your experience out there? They're very nice. It's, They're really friendly. I don't think yeah. we've ever had like 
rude. Maybe Yo. like a drunk guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a drunk guy. <laughs> right. That's it. Right. Yeah, well, get used to that. But uh, <laughs> hopefully you won't have too much of it. And uh, same same thing, Jake. You say pretty, pretty, pretty yeah. accepting out there and cool people? Yeah, everybody's really cool. Um, I really appreciate all the support from all the people. Are you playing with other uh, other bands? Like when you've got other uh, yes. when there's a bill with maybe a couple three bands, are you getting a yeah, chance yeah. to to uh, to to chat or hang out or become friend friendly with some of the other musicians? Yeah, yeah. we've become friends with like Joker's Wild, Joker's, yeah, Joker's Wild, Wild, Lifeline. Um, I can there's a lot. Name a lot. Yeah. There's... Well, I'm 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 thinking those are two right there that I'm not familiar with. Joker's Wild and Lifeline. Yeah, yeah. they are both. Really they're both. They've both been around for a while. So. And are they are they Moberly bands? Yep. Uh, Lifeline is Columbia, right? Yeah, Lifeline's here. All right. I have one of my questions for you guys is is who if I if I asked you who should I get to come on the show, I would say you know and maybe 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 those. Bands or somebody yeah. that we might invite to the program here. Yeah, yeah. Lifeline was one, correct? Yeah. Yes. I'm writing this down. Lifeline. Yeah, and and Devils. Joker's, Joker's Wild. Joker's Wild. What, what kind of music are they? Rock and rollers like you? Jo- Joker's Wild does a lot of Rush, Pink Floyd. Uh-huh. They do a lot of that stuff. All right. And then complicated music, that Rush stuff. Holy smokes. And then mm-hmm. Lifeline is all original. Yeah. Like. They have multiple albums. Out. Lifeline's been a thing for a long time. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, they're one I'm gonna have to put on my list for sure. All right. Um, what uh, What do you think about the future? I mean, are you gonna keep? Uh, I mean, do you have plans to? You're You're relatively young now. You've got to get through school. And um, uh, but for now, though, you're just gonna keep the band as it is. You have any interest in maybe expanding the band? Sometimes you want people want to bring in a keyboard player or whatever. Do, or do you like? Th- do you like the three piece? Um, I like I like this three piece. Yeah, I like the yes. three piece. But maybe when we record, we can we have, might have other people. Sure, you can always have guest artists come in and and, and lay lay some tracks down for you in the yeah, studio. Yeah, some new sounds. Right. I like. That. I like the three piece myself as well. Some of my favorite bands over time have been have been power trios, as they used to call them. So. Rush is a big one. Rush is an amazing band, and 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 three outstanding musicians. I mean, that's an understatement. Just top top of their game all of them their their drummer was uh, actually passed away a year or two ago neil neil pert yeah it was two years ago yeah and he was uh and i i play the drums but not well i'm i'm, I'm a decent guitar player but i like to beat on the drums just because it's so much fun yeah. Yeah. and i can keep a simple beat but i can't do anything fancy but uh but even when i was younger and, and wasn't really playing much music uh, hearing a guy like Neil Peart play the drums, I was like, "Holy smokes!" I mean, that is just next level. You he's know? he's one of my biggest influences, definitely, because most of my fills and like what I get from that is just like odd timing stuff. Yeah, so. well, his t- timing. I mean, it, I I don't even understand how how a man Great. could do that with four all with the, all four appendages doing. <laughs> Doing different things like that. Do you have when? Um, so the band is here today, and we've got sort of a broken down version of the band. They're not electrified particularly. We've got a little bass amp in here, but normally uh, you guys would be fully electrified up on stage, correct? Yep. Okay. So uh, Kai, what's your drum kit like? You got you got a Neil Pert like drum kit. Does it take like five guys to set up your kit? I have a six piece now. So. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah. So a kick not... drum, a snare, how many times? A floor tom and a couple of. Uh, Three toms and a floor tom. Three toms up top and a floor tom. Double pedal. Okay, double it's, pedal. Yep. Uh, but one kick drum. Uh, yep. And how many sna- or how many cymbals? Uh, I think it's four. Four. Outside of your hi hat. Well, three outside. Of my okay. Head. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, just just wanting to know. Um, you know, a lot of people that listen to this show like to know what kind of uh, equipment uh, the bands use. What what type of drum kit are you playing? Tama. Tama. All right. What kind of guitar do you like to play, Brody? I like Fenders. Fender, you play you play a Stratocaster when you're when you're playing live. Yeah. Or a Tele. Uh, a, a Stratocaster. A Stratocaster. But I have like three guitars that I play that are all in different tunings. One's a Yamaha, and one's a Les Paul. Okay. All right. So um, you'll just grab a different guitar for a different piece of music depending on how the tuning is set. Yeah. Do you normally tune just like standard tuning? Like today, it sounds like you're pretty much just st- standard tuning. Oh, we're half step down. Too. Half yeah. step down. So, so an E is a D sharp. Is that right? 
It's E flat, yeah. E flat, D sharp. D sharp yeah. Okay, same, same thing. thing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Interesting. And that's a, a Yamaha acoustic that you're playing. I, and hey, I appreciate you guys uh, uh, um, taking the time and working out some of your songs uh, to play them acoustically. Um, I know, like we were saying, you guys are normally a. a, a uh, an electrified rock and roll band and uh, that's a little too much for this little radio studio though and I've tried it a couple times in the past and it just gets overwhelming for the microphones and it ends up just being mud and uh, this actually works out much better and you guys sound great this afternoon thank you and, thank uh, you now you can do a little you, you can do an acoustic show somewhere if you need to as well so mm -hmm. you can add yeah. that to your add that to your your uh, your skills all right okay so um What's the favorite show you've ever... Have you had a favorite show so far oh, that, 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 that you've played? <laughs> Kai, I think he's got one. It's so tough. Oh. Because, like, all of them have been good. Yeah. I agree. Um, I really liked um, our 4th Street show or our Woodstock show. At the yeah, the Woodstock one was cool. We did, what, like, a... What was, what was the Woodstock show? It was Where at the got... Wabash. Where's it's, that? It's a restaurant downtown Marbury. All right. And you got to dress up like a hippie and stuff. <laughs> right on. Sounds like there's... It's Ina Cook in the house! All right. Um, so uh, Marbury's got a pretty pretty active music scene, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Like, like if just off the top of your head, how many how many clubs or, or venues are, are available for live music? Uh, I'd say about like seven. Seven. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Mallards, the yeah. Four Street. Mallards, Four the Street. Wabash shut down. Yeah. Shady <laughs> shut down. We shut down two shows. Yeah. We were so good. We yeah. shut down two restaurants. We shut them down. They're like, oh, man. <laughs> we were the last shows to ever be played. All right. That's a claim to fame, I guess. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm glad to hear Moberly's got some uh, uh, some venues there for live music. So, All right. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to have you guys play one more song. And then I'm going to let you guys take a break for a few minutes. I'm going to have my friend Ina come in and chat with me a little bit about uh, a project that she's working on tonight. And then we'll have you guys come back and, uh, and we'll continue our conversation and play some more music, okay? Okay, okay sounds perfect. All right, awesome. Uh, we've got Con Cannon in the studio this afternoon with us this afternoon. Super thrilled to have them here. And uh, we've got Jake on the bass. Uh, Brody's playing guitar and singing. And, uh, and Kai's playing the... Playing the, the little little drum kit in the corner here. All right, so um, what are you going to do for us here? Uh, this is Notice Me. Notice Me, as opposed to Avoid Me. And you're listening to it here on Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. Once again, this is Con Cannon.
need you to notice me. Woo! All right, all right. Woo! All right, Con Cannon once again in the studio here. It's Open Mic Radio. All right, we are going to take a break here and uh, switch gears. I'll be back in a few minutes with uh, an old friend of the show, the wonderful Miss Ina Cook. Check this one out. This is from her... Oh, I think it was 2018 release um, called Simply the Ina Cook Band. And a uh, great song here called Bad Taste in Men. Back in a few minutes, Open Mic Radio. We'll be back with uh, Con Cannon as well.
<laughs> All right, amazing. That's a wonderful one from the Ina Cook Band from 2018. You're listening to it here. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. And in the studio with me this afternoon, I do have Miss Ina Cook, her damn self. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we also have uh, Onda. Well, well, we'll do introductions here in a minute. But hi, Ina. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm great. It's really good to see you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for having me. It's well, been... S- uh, it's, been, uh, it's been too long. It's been too long, but uh, a lot of stuff's happened in the meantime. So uh, I'm glad yes. that we're I'm glad that we're all still at it. You know what I, I'm saying? I agree. Yes. All right. Well, um, uh, I wasn't uh, sure if you were going to be able to play a song or two for us this afternoon, but it looks like you are. Your brother Ando is here with you. You have a, uh, another uh, band member? Yes. So for this special occasion of Africa Fest yes, we're happening talk about this, that. this yeah. evening. Um, we all teamed up and the third member is Whitney Cook. She is the wife of Andu Cook and also a really, really good vocalist. Uh, a really great vocalist. So together we'll be singing some uh, Malagasy tunes. And and uh, for those who aren't familiar, Malagasy mm-hmm. is the uh, the official language of Madagascar. And I know a little bit about it because you educated you. me a couple of times over the past. <laughs> anyway, I'm thrilled. Uh, Ina Cook tonight Night. And uh, Whitney and, and Ando, I guess, uh, are we calling it the Ina Cook Band or not? Um, perhaps not tonight. But at any rate, Africa Fest uh, is happening this evening. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yes, absolutely. So... Uh- Tonight, we have the gala performance of um, Africa Fest 2022. Um, yesterday, we taught a Malagasy cooking class. This evening, <laughs> we will be performing alongside um, some great local performers and um, a band from KC. Um, and so, yeah, it's at the Missouri Theater. At the theater. Yes, this Beautiful. evening at 7 p.m. All right, and it'll go till probably 10, 11, something like that? Probably 10, well, 9 or 10 Yeah, yeah ish. okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, music and uh, what did you say? There's another class going on today or? So not today, yesterday. Yesterday uh, we was taught, the cooking uh, class. We t- yes, we did, a, we did a cooking class at the MU Impact um uh, Family, Family Impact Center, yes. Uh, we got to cook umazava, the national dish of Madagascar, and a bunch of other really cool um, sweets. We brought some vanilla from Madagascar, and everybody was just so happy. Well, what uh, I'm, Africa Fest is something that has been going on at least for a number of years now, mm-hmm. um, but um, is there... A full weekend of events, it looks like? It Yes. So it started yesterday with um, the cooking class. Today, uh, from 3.30 to 4.30, there was a um, African dance class at the Jabberwocky Studios. Nice. And this evening, we'll have the, the gala performance. And on Monday evening, there will be an African... Um, Market at the Community United Methodist Church. All right, very yeah. cool. All right, so are you spending most of your time in St. Louis now, or are you? Or are you... I, I actually moved back to Columbia you're, recently. You're yes, back in Columbia. Okay. Yes. Ando, where you've been these days? Are you still in St. Louis, or are you uh, here in Columbia as well? I'm here in Columbia as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, and so I'm guessing that means that Whitney's here as well. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, very good. And I think that uh, Ina said Whitney is Mrs. Ando Cook. Yes. Correct. All yes. right. Uh, you want to? <laughs> I, I got to hear a little bit about because I don't think that you were married when uh, when you were here the last time uh, we were together, Ando. I think I was. I were you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. She's like, you're damn right you he were. He was married, but I just recently stepped into the music scene, I would oh. say, and performing and started performing. Okay. This is fairly new for me, so. All right. Yeah. I have performed. We've performed Africa Fest before. This was, I think, two years ago. Uh, we did perform. We did about, I think this was a 45-minute set, 30-minute set. Yeah, about, it was uh, for the ago. International Women's Day. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what's your musical background? Uh, well, I actually don't. I sing in the shower in the car. So well, that's, I mean, that's what works, you know. Hey, but here we are. <laughs> there's a um, one of my favorite artists here in town. His name is Lou Nevins. You probably know Lou, but any, anyway, he he, uh, he he's involved with a number of different projects. One of them is called The Fumes, and the girl he sings with her name is Stella Peters, and she's another wonderful vocalist, beautiful, beautiful voice. And Lou ran into her at a at a karaoke show. Love it. <laughs> and he's like, holy smokes, and. Uh, She's now, you know, a big part of 
Oh, but that's I, so I, awesome! I just, giving just, somebody like the band. opportunity to rock so, it out. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So, uh, a, a voice is an instrument of, yes, it of, is. of itself, certainly. So, okay, so we have got uh, a, a group of young musicians with us this afternoon. They're called Con Cannon, playing some rock and roll from Moberly, uh, Missouri. Love it, and uh, certainly uh, thrilled to have these guys with us this afternoon. Great to have Ina and the band stop by as well tonight. Africa Fest at the. Uh, Missouri Theater, 7 o'clock, the gala music event starts. There's a whole weekend of event that's, uh, events that, that have been going on, but uh, super cool stuff. And uh, the music tonight certainly will, will be outstanding. So uh, maybe you can give us an idea of what people might, uh, might, might get a load Absolutely. of tonight. Absolutely. Huh? Um, I know the other acts will bring the house down. However, I don't know what they will bring it down with. But I do know what we will bring to the table. Right. And that is that Andu, uh, Whitney, and I, we've been digging into our the culture of Madagascar, where we are from, mm -hmm. deeper and deeper. And we will sing some, um, some of our favorite tunes from back home in our own way for you. Very cool. I think it's yeah. going to be fantastic. Now, who else is playing tonight as well? Um, Isoke. And the uh, sounds of Africa from uh, Casey. Uh -huh. They are an African drumming and um, singing group. Um, there will also be some local artists, but don't quote me on that. Okay. Names. All right. And here All right. I am backing away from the mic, really embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got Ina and Ando and Whitney in the studio with me. They're going to play one for us and a little sample of what you might here this evening at the Missouri Theater during uh, the Africa Fest Music Festival, okay? All right, Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. And yeah, this is Ina Cook. <laughs> Seki zobi zan kapana rivo Tu mobili manazi ro pilane Haran kwa to mobi bande ambane Seki zobe ya Seki zobe ya Is mi soma na bimi fuera fuera Si karana Take it 
Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. Ina Cook and Company. Love it. Great stuff. <laughs> this afternoon, you're hearing it here on Open Mic Radio. Love it. So great to see you, and you sound so awesome, as always. Thank you so much. Tonight is going to be amazing. Oh, we are we are just over the moon. We've been working for a long time preparing um, for tonight, and we're just so excited to share to share it with everyone. You know, the uh, the feel of that song reminds me of some of the stuff that we get from noon to two on Saturdays with uh, Motherland Jam. Oh, I and, love uh, it. Morgan plays amazing music from all across the continent of Africa. And, uh, and, and, and he also does a reggae show from six o'clock until eight on Saturday night. And then also has a little bit of a reggae vibe to it as well. Certainly yes, that guitar it. leg. Oh, right. Yeah. So awesome <laughs> stuff. All right. Um, let me say real quick that uh, uh, Todd Day Wade, a good friend of ours, a good friend of the program and a friend of mine for many years, uh, will be playing down at Cooper's Landing on the 25th. That's September 25th, a week from tomorrow. Uh, the reason I mention it is, well, first I got a call from a guy named Otis who wanted us to mention it, but also... Um, yeah, Todd's been around for a long time, and he's been traveling and been in Nashville for the last quite quite a few months. So it's great to have uh, Todd Day Wait back in the Columbia area, and he brought his band with him. So we got some great music from Todd and the band from Nashville uh, down at Cooper's Landing in a week and one day. So I'll mention this again next week, but I may put that on your on your schedule for next Sunday. Todd Day Wait, appreciate the call from Otis. Okay, all right. Uh, Ina Cook in the house. Got Ando <laughs> here. Got Whitney here. I'm super excited to have you. I'm going to try to get one more song out of you before uh, I bring our our guest Tom Cannon back in sure. the studio. Um, let's see. Before that, though, I want to ask what's going on with. Uh, other stuff, music. Are you recording new stuff? Are you writing new material? What's going on with uh, with the band in general? In general, um, you know, everything with COVID and all, everything was just, we hit the brakes on a lot of things. Um, and then, you know, we went through some uh, family family difficulties um, with COVID and mm -hmm. we are finally, I think we're starting to feel like we're on the other side of that. And, um, one thing that I didn't expect when I um, when I signed up to participate in Africa Fest 2022 was to sort of find myself again, which by digging deep into my uh, you know my Malagas my Malagasy heritage um, and I've always struggled my whole life to. Um, combine my two identities somehow I was never quite Malagasy enough never quite American enough it's just sort of something that you feel inside you know mm -hmm. and um, uh, it, it sort of tugs at both ends and I think this time I I figured out that you that I can be both it makes sense but it didn't sink in until now you certainly so, are both uh, yeah yeah it's like it would be hard like what you won't do like chop off my leg or <laughs> I don't you know and so so um, so I think we envision um, doing a lot more of um, of the Malagasy inspired yeah, yeah. us music in the future very good I can't wait to hear it I can't wait to share it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, share one more with us here, and then okay. uh, and then we'll uh, we'll move along. You guys have a show coming up tonight. We will mention once again that, uh, in fact, this show, uh, Open Mic Radio, is brought to you in part by listener support and by Jabberwocky Studios, uh, who are hosting Africa Fest 2022, and uh, that's going to culminate tonight with a performance by the Ina Cook Band at the Missouri Theater on Saturday. That's tonight, September the 17th. All right, seven o'clock. And if you want more information or tickets, what can people do uh, online or how do they get if they yes. want to come to the show? Uh, yes. Um, the Jabberwocky website has links to all of the tickets for all of the different events. Um, if you go on Facebook and look up Africa Fest Como 2022, it will also be on there. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, and once again, there's a website, jabberwockystudios.org. You can get yes. information there as well. Okay. Let's get one more from Ina Cook and Ando and Whitney and uh, look forward to it. What are you going to play for us? This one's called Avakuma Mam. It's a song that... Sounds French. 
<laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's it's a, it's an old song from Madagascar. Um, I say old, but it's a it's sort of a classic that we all grew up singing. And um, if you run into a, a group of Malagasy people anywhere, they'll probably know this song. Okay, very good. Once again, Ina Cook, KOPN Columbia, Open Mic Radio. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Thank oh, you. Oh, so fantastic. Much. Ina <laughs> Cook, Ando, Whitney, thank you very, very much. Thank you thank so you much for having us. Having us. Awesome to see us. you. I hope you have a great time tonight. Great to see yes. you this afternoon. And uh, yeah, rock it out tonight. It's going to be fantastic. We right. will. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank once you. again, everyone, Africa Fest, the big finale tonight at the Missouri Theater. Tickets online, jabberwockystudios.org, the Missouri Theater. Uh, find Ina online. Really easy to find Ina online. A-I-N-A, Ina Cook. Mm-hmm. And uh, check her out. Great music, uh, whether it's in... Uh, this language or that, and uh, I'm super excited to, to hear your new stuff, Ina. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Thank All right. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you awesome. So much. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so much fun. All right, very good. Let's get uh, Con Cannon back in here for a second. Actually, I'm going to throw on one more Ina Cook song, and then we'll say uh, uh, we'll say hello uh, to Con Cannon in in, uh, in just a second here. Okay. This is Baby's Wanting. Uh, just about.
All right, there's a couple from Ina Cook. You can check out the Ina Cook Band tonight, 7 o'clock at uh, the Missouri Theater, Africa Fest 2022. That's sort of a different style of music from the music you're going to get at the Dive Bar tonight from 8 o'clock until 11. We're going to rock and roll down there this evening. A band called Con Cannon in the house with me this afternoon. As a matter of fact, if you were with us for the first part of the show, you got to hear a few songs from this uh, wonderful group of young musicians and uh, we've got them back in the studio with us right now hey guys hey Hey. hi what'd you think of Ina there they were were awesome they sounded really good yeah really good vocals cool cool harmonies incredible I don't even know what they're saying but it it sounded good (laughs) 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 okay all right but um you have some more music for us right yes yes all right uh let's uh let's do one we've got about 40 minutes of the show left so I'm going to try to get as much music out of these young men as we can get so we will just uh Turn it over to them and ask Mr. Brody, what are you going to play for us? We're playing Nutshell by Alice in Chains. All right, a cover song. This is Alice in Chains' Nutshell, another great record. Was it Jar of Flies? Was that uh, the record that this was on? Yep. Yeah, fantastic album. All right, Con Cannon, Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, uh, doing a little Alice in Chains. Check it out.
right, nice one. Once again, Con Cannon, you're listening to it here on Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. That's uh, an oldie but a good one. Uh, Alice in Chains from Jar of Flies. That one's called Nutshell. When's the first time you heard uh, Alice in Chains? How old were you? Uh, probably like 10 <laughs> or something. 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. All right. Um, let me uh, take a quick second here. You guys, uh, I'm going to have you chime in too. We're going to talk quickly about what's happening around town because I forgot that I was supposed to do that. But um, we know that uh, tonight at 8 o'clock we've got Con Cannon at the Dive Bar. They're playing a three-hour set and uh, you can check them out. Wonderful music out there on the patio. It's so cool out there at the Dive Bar outside now. That used to be like volleyball, sand volleyball out there and then and then they, they, they filled it with pavers and, and made a made a cool patio and a music venue out of the place. But anyway, sure glad what they've done down there and uh, their support for live music. So appreciate the dive bar. Uh, Rose Music Hall tonight, uh, a tribute to the Cars. Are you familiar with the band, the Cars? No. no. You, you probably uh, would know if you heard a couple of songs, yeah. but uh. my best friend's girl, she's my best friend's yep. girl. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, and yeah. she used to be mine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the Cars. <laughs> Let's go, a tribute to the cars tonight featuring the Mercury Trio. That's at Rose, uh, 7.30 show. Uh, tomorrow at Rose, uh, the Rescue Rescue Reunion. Uh, that's an afternoon show. And uh, a little bit later in the, uh, in the week, Wednesday on the 21st, Austin Mead uh, will be at Rose with uh, the Comancheros and Mitchell Ferguson. The Comancheros, uh, excellent country rock band. Uh, that have been uh, making music for a while around here. They've been on the program. we got to get Tanner back here with us. But uh, anyway, good stuff next week at Rose. Uh, the Blue Note tonight, uh, Freaknik, Prince Kiki, and Rico DeMac. A little hip-hop tonight, it looks like, at the Blue Note. Uh, Tuesday, Built to Spill. Wow, I'll have to get, uh, we'll have to get Kurt, our, uh, our friend Kurt, uh, from, the, from the show here to go down to that, that show maybe uh, on Tuesday at the Blue Note, Built to Spill. Featuring uh, French Tips and Ura. Guar. <laughs> if you want some crazy, uh, I'm not sure what you call Guar. Uh, it's a circus. It's a circus, yeah. Some, some, circus. some circus rock and roll. Uh, Wednesday at the Blue Note, Guar in full costume with Crobot and Necrogoblicon. <laughs> love the name. Necrogoblicon. you got to love these metal names. Uh, that's at the Blue Note on Wednesday. Uh, Cafe Berlin. Uh, tonight, nothing happening. Tomorrow, um, uh, Blights plus Lung and uh, This History. That's uh, going to be a, a punk show tomorrow at Cafe Berlin. Blights is pretty pretty awesome, actually. Actually, both those bands are great. Really? You're familiar? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lung, they're from, I think, Cincinnati. Oh, really? Sorry. Lung is from Cincinnati, and uh, it's a cellist, an electric cellist, and a, and a drummer. Yeah, this is two piece. Yeah, and it's metal. Ha! Huh, nice. Yeah, I mean she, uh, she it's um, she it's an electric it. cello, so yeah. so it doesn't feed back, and she runs it through all these pedals, and she, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. So, all right, that might be one to check out. Uh, Blights and Lung tomorrow night at uh, at Berlin, and Cafe Berlin now starting to do a few more shows, so I like uh, I like it. The Rochport Wine Crawl was this afternoon. People wandering around the town of Rochport drinking wine. Um, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of music, a little bit of uh, arts and crafts going on in Roachport all day, uh, including this evening. So check that out. Um, summer music uh, at the Bluff Top down there at Les Bourgeois. They're about running out of time. I think we got one more week. Um, Tanner Lee tomorrow, and Tanner is the one of the guitar players uh, for the Comancheros, as a matter of fact. And then the big uh, the Big Bang Brass Quintet on the 25th of September. That's a week from tomorrow. All right. Uh, the Pierpont store, nothing happening this weekend. We talked about the dive bar. There's a new place around town called Sticky's Cabana. Oh. And are you familiar? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, um, I've, I, yeah. I, th- I think it's a good place maybe for you guys to play because there's a couple of, uh, of army vets actually that opened this place. They've, and uh, it's, it sounds like a pretty cool new venue. I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, they've wanted us to play <clears> there for a while. And I went and checked it out because there was a battle of the bands recently, uh-huh. and it was with Joker's Wild and Lifeline in it. 
So I went down there, and it's a really cool place. All right. Well, you guys should put that on your list. Get a hold of those guys. But anyway, um, Sticky's Cabana. I'm not sure exactly who's playing there this weekend, but I know they have live music on Friday and Saturday night. I'll try to learn a little bit more about this place and uh, and bring it to you next week, okay? All right. That is uh, pretty much what I've got for, uh, for around town for the next few days. And uh, let's get back to Con Cannon here. We've got another another few minutes. Let's uh, let's get a couple more songs out of you. What are you going to do for us? We're going to do Dumb by Nirvana. All right. All right. Sounds good. Another one from uh, the Seattle scene back in the late 80s, early 90s. This is Con Cannon with their interpretation of Dumb from Nirvana. It's Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. I'm not like them, but I can pretend The sun is gone, but I have a light The day is done, but I'm having fun I think I'm dumb, maybe just happy Think I'm just happy Think I'm just happy Think I'm just happy My heart is broke, but I have some glue Help me inhale, mend it with you We'll float around, and hang out on clouds Then we'll come down, and have a hangover Have a hangover Have a hangover Have a hangover Skin and sun fall asleep. Wish away, so is she. Lesson learned, wish me luck. Shoot the burn, wake me up. I'm not like them, but I can pretend. The sun is gone, but I have a lot. The day is done, but I'm having fun. I think I'm dumb. Maybe just happy Think I'm just happy Think I'm just happy Think I'm just happy I think I'm dumb 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 I think I'm dumb, I think I'm dumb All right, another one of my faves there. I love all this old grunge stuff from the 90s. That was uh, Con Cannon with their version of Nirvana's Dumb. Oh, I don't know if that was on Nevermind or was that on the on the In next, Utero. In Utero. In Utero. And those were the only two studio albums that they released they had or was they, had, they had two more they had um their first album was bleach and oh that's right bleach was first their second one was incesticide right and, and then, then never mind then they got actually pop that, that's when sub pop signed them yeah and they went yeah. and they did never mind they, yeah they had two records before that but um but in utero was the last studio record correct? yep and then yeah. they released unplugged after kurt cobain uh died all right. Okay. Um, let me ask you about uh, other bands that you're listening to these days that are more current. I'm, I know you, I know you're really influenced by a lot of this old, uh, the older stuff. But is there anybody around right now that you're that you're digging? Jake looks like he wants to say something. Um, it's not really their kind of music, but I really like. Um, I think they're still releasing music. Avenged Sevenfold. Huh. Not familiar. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What's what's the style? Uh, it's heavy metal. <laughs> heavy metal. Well, no. <laughs> But like some songs are softer, and then some songs are really hard. Uh -huh. I mean, because right. there's like some songs that are like it's like mellow, kind of like this, and then there's some songs that are just heavy in there. Mm -hmm. All right. What about um, other bands around the area that you might like to work with, or you might like to play with, uh, on stage with, or you maybe even collaborate with at some point? Anybody that you're impressed with uh, that you're seeing out there? To be honest, I really just. Like Lifeline and Joke as well. You, you you've been you've been mentioning them a couple times, Kai. They, I, I definitely need to check them out. Lifeline in particular, I think that uh, I need to need to see what they're all about. So, what about you guys, Brody? Anybody you like to jam with? Joker's Wild would be pretty cool. They're yeah, a great band. All right. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All um, right. But also, uh, Derek Inyard Band. Yeah. They're they're really cool. It's our, you know, te- that's lesson. Your, that's te- your teacher's, it's our teacher's band. band. Play yeah. He, yeah, they really? play at the yeah. Blue Note coming up. All right. What's the and, name of that band? Um, Derek Inyard Band. Derek Enyard. And okay. Um, we also want to thank Matt Henshaw for the sound tonight. Matt's going to be doing sound for you tonight. At yep, the he's the, the guitarist for Joke as Wild. So. All right, very cool. And Scott Dunwoody for all of our donations. So hey, yes. appreciate that, Jake. I'm sure the guys appreciate you the, sh- the shout out. And uh, yeah, um, great music this afternoon in the studio here. We've got Con Cannon with us. Had a little visit from Ina Cook and her brother and uh, and Whitney. A brand new addition to that band. Great stuff tonight, uh, all around town. Catch uh, Con Cannon at the dive bar, eight to eleven. You can check out Ina Cook and her band. Uh, down at the Missouri Theater. Um, how much did I say? I guess we really didn't talk about Cooper's Landing, but if there's something going on at Cooper's, I'm sure that's happening tonight from, uh, usually from, eh, I don't know. They usually have an afternoon show and then something a little bit later in the evening till around 9, so Down by the River is probably going to be nice tonight as well. So, Okay, we've got, uh, let's see. Let's do another song. Um, you know, my friend Bartholomew Bean, I, I don't know, is Bean still here? Maybe he's here, maybe I think he's, he's not. Here. Yeah, I think he's here. Um, I might have him stop in toward the end of the show, but I want to wrap it up with you guys. You actually have to get to the dive bar. Probably wouldn't mind if you got out of here a couple minutes early to go go get loaded in there. So let's do, you got two more songs. Let's do one. We'll come back. We'll uh, we'll kind of wrap it up, say goodbye. You can play one more out the door, and then we'll uh, we'll chat with my buddy Bart for a few minutes, okay? All right. Okay. okay. All right. Awesome. Once again, Con Cannon in the studio this afternoon. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. We're on the web at kopn.org. These young fellows are going to be playing tonight at the Dive Bar. Great rock and roll music. You can catch them fully electrified tonight. I can tell Brody can't wait to get that electric guitar. He's like, man, this acoustic's not loud enough. (laughs) Anyway, of course, uh, the bass player always gets a bonus, though, because even when we come here to the studio, the bass player usually brings his amp, because, you know, I don't know if you've ever played an acoustic bass, but they don't quite they just don't quite have the umph. You, you sort of need an amp with a bass, I think. John, you concur? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, okay, really cool stuff. Uh, we're going to get a couple more from Con Cannon here. And this one is... Plush. Plush. Stone Temple Pilots. Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. And I feel the time's waste and go So wake going for tomorrow And I see that these are the last gone Would you even care? For tomorrow, where you go with the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. So we'll smell love. And I see that so much depends on the weather. So it's raining in the bedroom And I see These are the eyes of disarray Would you even care? And I feel it And she feels it Where you going for tomorrow? Where you going with the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. So will she smell love? When the dogs find her, got time, time to wait for tomorrow. To find it, to find it, to find it. The dogs find her Got time, time to wait for tomorrow To find it, to find it, to find it 
Where you going for tomorrow? Where you going with the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. Will she smell love? The dogs find her. Got time, time to wait for tomorrow. To find it, to find it, to find it. And the dogs find her. Got time, time to wait for tomorrow. To find it, to find it, to find it. Yeah, all right, all right. Stone Temple Pilots, that one's called Plush. Air drumming. Another great, yeah, I was air drumming with that <laughs> one. <laughs> That's another great record. I forget the name of that album. Was it just? Core. 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 Was that the one that had Rubber ma- rubber, rubber Band Man? No, Rubber Man. Cracker. He's a man, he's a... Uh, Cracker, Cracker Man. Cracker Man. We do, man. We do that song. We do, we yeah, we do. Love that. Yeah. That's my favorite song on that record. We do Cracker, Cracker Man. Cracker Man's just a total jam. <laughs> yeah, he's a man, he's a man, Cracker Man. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, well, Con Cannon, you guys are jamming. You're sounding fantastic. And uh, uh, pleasure to have you down here this afternoon. Have a great show tonight at the Dive Bar. Uh, once again, if people want to get in touch with the band... Uh, Bobby, why don't you give your uh, email address out? B Vestal V E S T A L 1973 at gmail.com. But you can find them on Facebook at Con Cannon Band. You can find them on TikTok at Con Cannon Band. You can find them on YouTube at Con Cannon Band. And each one of those sites has information to get a hold of me. All right, very good. Not too tough to find them out there. Okay, it's Con Cannon, C O N C A N N O N. And uh, awesome little. Power Trio from Moberly. Once again, catch them tonight at the dive bar. They'll be jamming from 8 o'clock until 11. They've got one more for us here on the way out the door. And uh, what are you going to do for us? Everlong. Everlong. Food Fighters. Fighters. I saw an amazing video. Kai, you'll you'll, you'll appreciate this. Um, Okay. Who's the guy who used to play drums for Foo Fighters? Taylor th- Hawkins. He pa- he passed away. Is that correct? Yeah. There was a tribute show or something. Yeah. Recently. Did you yeah. see his son? Yeah. yeah. Holy smokes! That was amazing. Wasn't that amazing? Sixteen-year-old yeah. son yeah. Uh, of the former drummer of the Foo Fighters, playing drums uh, to the song "Hero." I think it was. Yeah, my my hero. My hero. We did that song. It was nuts. Wow! Absolutely cool. So anyway, here's another one uh, from. Uh, Foo Fighters, and this is Con Cannon with Everlong. You've been listening to it here, Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. Hey, you guys, keep it going, all right? Hopefully you make a bunch more good music, and uh, and I'd like to see your, your music careers just keep on going. And if you ever need anything, you get a hold of me, all right? If you got some, you got big news, whatever, come on back down here, and we'll get you on the radio, and we'll share it with people. Yeah, all right, sure. Okay? All right, right on. One more from Con Cannon. All right, here we go. Anything 
think it'd ever be this good again The only thing I'll ever ask of you But I promise not to stop when I say when She sang Awesome, you guys. That's uh, Everlong. Great cover of a great song by the Food Fighters. All right, once again, Con Cannon, gentlemen, have a great evening. And uh, once again, thanks for coming down. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank all you right, back. all right. Bobby, cheers, my friend. We'll be in touch. And uh, once again, if you're looking for some rock and roll tonight, get on down to the dive bar from uh, 8 o'clock until 11. You'll see some great rock and roll uh, with Con Cannon. And uh, out there on the patio, it should be a lovely night down there. And uh, in general, out there tonight in Columbia. All right? Okay. Uh, open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We've got uh, oh, a few minutes left of the show here. We're going to get uh, the young men out of here with their musicianship and uh, instruments. And I think I'll play one here from Ina Cook. Um, you can check her out perhaps tonight if you're into some uh, African music. And Africa Fest 2022 happening tonight at the Missouri Theater. And uh, this is the kind of stuff you can hear down there. Whenever 
your fun And I won't say or do or a thing <laughs> You think you got it made Your little escapade You didn't think things through I'm here all alone With a knife and a heart of stone Thinking what I'll do to you Another one there from the wonderful Ina Cook. We're going to cut it a little bit short, though, because I've got my good friend Bartholomew Bean in the studio with me. We're really trying to trying to stretch it this afternoon. But, uh, yeah, uh, Bean, grab that mic and say hi real fast, all right? Hey, uh, this one? or this Yeah, either one. I mean, okay. yeah, that's good like that. Yeah, for sure. Good. How are you, my friend? Good. What do you think of the new, uh, the well, new it's digs amazing. here? Huh? It's very nice. Brand spanking new. Yep, we've got a lot of good stuff happening here, and uh, it was a little bit of a nail biter moving out of uh, the downtown area but i think but i think things actually uh, are going to work out real well here so very good i'm glad to hear that yeah all right well you've been out of town for a while it's good to have you back um i wish i had time to jibber jabber for a while but i'd rather hear some music you want to play one or two for us yeah yeah i got uh my first, this uh tune i worked on i got a couple worked up to if i can get through them so this uh this first one is called um oh yeah the fourth reich blues <laughs> all right it's that this, one fantastic this is yeah. uh bartholomew bean on open mic radio kopn columbia and this is the fourth rank blues <laughs> No, I totally jump songs. This is called Attention All Robots, and I'll do it too, so here it goes. General robots, you could be a human too. Attention, no robots, you could be a human too. Look deep within your conscious eye to poise a question, to ponder a sigh. Attention, no robots, you could be a human too. And mark them finished when they're done Attention all humans, you could be a robot too Demon, too. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 
Tis a thou protocol not to kill and not to maul attention or robot. You could be a demon too. You could know the divine mm-hmm. The attentional sentience You could know the divine also Cast off self to realize The common thread that makes us wise Attentional sentience You could know divinity too Attention all humans uh, Bean, I have to say that we are about out of time And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to get you back in here Okay When we've got a little more um, Morgan's due in here in about three minutes So uh, I'm going to wrap it up But um, it's great to see you When You want to come back next weekend? You got, are you going to be in town? When is the 25th? Is it coming up? Is that next Yeah, that's weekend? next Sunday Because I think Todd... Todd Todd's playing down. at Cooper's next next Sunday. Yeah, that, I think yeah. it's going to try and make it down for that. So, maybe, and that's on Sunday. That's on Sunday. You should so. come down the Saturday before, and next Saturday we'd have a little bit more time in the studio. You can play a few more for us. With, uh, like, uh, like the twenty fourth? Is that is that yeah right? next ne- next week the twenty fourth? Okay. Um, there's a band called Elephant Foot uh, that will be here with us next week. They're fantastic. They've been they've been here once before. They've got a big show coming up next weekend. Um, but certainly we've got plenty of time to get some songs out of them and out of you. So. It sounds good. I'll, I'm going to try and make it down for that weekend. Okay, that's what we're going to plan. Uh, yeah, so I was going to say, next weekend, come on back, all right? Uh, we will be uh, with you as we usually are. Elephant Foot will return to Open Mic Radio, probably a couple surprises, like Bartholomew Bean. And uh, who knows who else might uh, stop in next week, okay? Uh, the next couple weeks, months, Nick Danger, Provoke the Colossus, Estrella, Ruby Lane, uh, some of our regular guests will stop by, I'm sure. Uh, big thank you to Con Cannon, the band, uh, with us this afternoon. Also, Ina Cook and company who came down uh, to visit this afternoon. Fantastic music they're going to be putting forward tonight at the Missouri Theater. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy yourselves out there this weekend. Bart, what do you got planned tonight? Anything? Uh, there's a new place um, over behind uh, a log boat. At, uh, oh, the arcade uh, arcade. Park or is it, is something it the Daves like that. Over there tonight, or oh, I didn't know. Um, I, I should. So. I, I clearly should have mentioned that, but I think it's the arcade stage they're calling it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. True. And um, right now, I'm not sure who's operating that, and I don't know where they're actually advertising what uh, what shows are going to be doing there. So, if somebody knows, send me an email so I'll uh, I'll follow up and make sure that we add them to our list when we when we talk about venues and uh, and events that are coming up. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, had a great time today. Glad you're with us, Bart. Thanks for me stopping too. down. Me too. 
Yeah. And uh, once again, my email address, Mike Hagan at MikeHagan.com, the website, MikeHagan.com, podcast, etc. Subscribe. Uh, check out John Lamb on uh, on YouTube. He's making some great videos of this stuff uh, here at Open Mic Radio. Uh, send music to me if you'd like to appear on the show. Love to get you here and share your stuff with other people. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. You've been listening to Open Mic Radio right here. KOPN 89.5 FM. Hope you all enjoy the weekend. Be cool to yourself. Be cool to other people out there. And uh, stick around. Rashumba and a reggae party will be coming at you in a few minutes. We'll catch you all next week with Elephant Foot and a little more from uh, Mr. Bartholomew Bean.